Hey, this is Kenneth, and today I'm checking out a Motorola GR300 repeater chassis. And something I found kind of somewhat impressive was the thermal controller fan on the back. So from the power supply, we've got these two wires that run into the fan, and then it has two wires that run back out of it into this sensor, which was bolted. Gosh, you're not going to be able to see this. It was bolted onto the heat sink of the transmit radio. Um, and so right now the fan is running at the idle speed. I'm going to ah, light this lighter here. And if we heat up this, what I assume is this ther thermistor, um, the cooling fan actually very very linearly revs up um, so it's actually it it's kind of pleasantly surprising because a lot of the Motorola repeaters from this era were notorious for having uh, thermal switches that were set a little bit too high um, but this one seems to have a, a linear response, which I didn't really effectively demonstrate for you there. But if you kind of heat it up just a little bit, I can get it to rev without going all the way to super high. And now I've got my... It's all a little bit smoky now. Well, hurts the resale value. But yeah, um, pleasantly surprised by that. I don't know if it's stock. There's a... A lot of kind of weird stuff about this GR300 chassis, but yeah, thanks for watching. See? Thermal control.